It's a proud ram that guards this school here in the mid pen Commonwealth Division. And you see the heroes that are remembered out there at the Veterans Memorial. And you walk inside the home of the Rams and you will see nothing but trophies in the trophy case from states to regionals to districts to county. We're talking about the Central Dolphin Rams, and we're talking about a backyard brawl that's just about to take place here tonight on High School Sports Live TV's Game of the Week as Central Dolphin East invades the home of the Rams here tonight. It's the Panthers and the Rams coming to you on Fox 43.2. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's broadcast is made live by our premier sponsor, the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency, f and Trust, and Hoffman Ford Family of Dealerships. I'm Gary Sutton alongside of Kirk Small with Jeff Thompson. And, man, are we happy to be in here tonight for another backyard brawl, and it's always fun. And, Coach, you know a little something about East because you used to coach him here some years ago before you went to Harrisburg High. But you talk about this East team having a tough year so far, 5-8, and 3-6 and six in the Commonwealth. But tonight is kind of like the Army-Navy game of the season. This is the one you play for. And you talk about this team, Terrence Copney jackson makes them go. This guy is Mr. Effervescent, Mr. Energy. Absolutely. One of the th- I asked uh, Terrence, what's different this year about your game? He said, you know, Coach, I got more confidence. He said, last year I was worried about making mistakes. He said, this year I'm not. He said, Coach Hill just lets me play. Um, I said, well, tell me about your game. He said, I'm a slasher. I like to get to the rim. I'm unselfish. Then I asked him about his jump shot. I said, well, against Chambersburg, you were on fire. He said, well, I can shoot. He said, last year I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, he's a good defender. He said he's the best defender on the team. And they beat CD in football. They beat CD at East. He wants to beat him again tonight so he can run the table. That's exactly right. You want to put something on there. Ryan Hill in his first year here doing a good job trying to get these teams, uh, or this team where he wants to get it. On the other side, you got Central Dolphin also having somewhat of a down year after winning some championships in 2020 and 21. And Coach Wayne Fletcher, outstanding coach, but 6-11 and 11 this year, 4-5 and five in the Commonwealth, Jeff Thompson. But when you start with them, you start with another guy named Fletcher, Wayne Fletcher II. Let's talk about him a little bit. Well, number two, Wayne Fletcher too. He's a sophomore, about 6'2", really maybe taller than that, but very smooth. He works hard. He goes to the basket and finishes in transition very well, especially with his right hand. He's got range. He can shoot the three. I think he's he's got unlimited potential because he looks like the kind of young man that's going to work really hard. And on the inside game, they have Keon Dawkins, who's played for four years, who should be able to help him. And they have a left-handed post guy who really lit it up yesterday against Central York. Well, 14 points, but he's a post guy scoring 14. Georgios Arahovas. And it's going to be a fun game tonight as these two teams go to play it off again. As you said, Central Dolphin East won the first time. They're trying to make it two for the season. We're going to see what happens right here tonight. When we come to you live with the High School Sports Live TV Game of the Week, it's Central Dolphin East and Central Dolphin, the Army-Navy of the mid-pen, coming your way here on Fox 43.2. More choices. More laughter. More time to play. And less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal. To go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman So a while back, I thought to myself, I'm never going to own a home. I'm going to have to rent forever. I didn't have money for a down payment. 
I had no credit history, and I just got out of a divorce. But PHFA showed me that home ownership is possible. They offer me a low interest mortgage and a way to manage the closing cost. To me, this is more than just my home. It's a huge accomplishment and a new chapter in my life, thanks to PHFA. The Jet Giambavo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Giambavo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jet Giambavo Mazda. The Giambavo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre-owned inventory with a reputation for quality service after the sale. Giambavo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jet Giambavo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at giambavo.com. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. And welcome back to Central Dolphin High School, the end of the National Anthem here. And we have the starting lineups for you to get underway. And for Central Dolphin East tonight, they got a new face in the lineup since we saw him a couple weeks ago. Uh, we've got uh, Terrence Copney Jackson, who is averaging seven and a half points a game. Elijah Cooper, the freshman, averaging 13 points a game, is in there as a starter tonight. Eli Vega averaging 3.7 points a game. Anthony Stevens at 10 points a game. He's a Mr. Do Everything for this team. And Thurston Wells, the inside presence at 10.2. On the other side for Central Dolphin, you got Wayne Fletcher, the second, 11.8 points a game. Malachi Cofield at five. You've got Giorgio Arahovas at 5.8 points a game. Keon Dockets, he can play at 9.4 points a game. And Leighton Freed, who also comes in at 7.1 points a game. Going to be an interesting backyard brawl here tonight. Gary Sutton with you. Kirk Smallwood as we get ready to go. And Jeff Thompson traveling the sideline tonight. Your officials here this evening, Chris Delosier, Tim Deljonovan, and Phil Brown. And we are underway with a game that we've come to love every single year. We come in here, there's always a great game. It seems to always come down to the wire, and we're looking forward to nothing different here tonight. And, Kirk, this is going to be a fun game for you this evening. You used to coach here at CD East. You know a lot of players and coaches on both sides. Coach, I've been blessed to be a part of 10 of these things in my five-year tenure at CD East. And uh, it's a rivalry. A rivalry it means a whole lot to a lot of people. Coach Ryan Hill in his first year, he is 5-8 and eight in that first year. On the other side, Wayne Fletcher, 77-30 in his fifth season. He has two mid-pen championships to go in there in 2020 and 2021. And he's 125-56 and 56 overall with a 48-26 record in three seasons. That Kemp Hill's ball gets taken away. And here's Kemp up and in right away for C.D. East. And that guy we were talking about, Mr. Stevens, on the spot. Yes. Great play. Coming back here in a three-quarter court. Trap. CD East comes in here at five and eight. And a walk call here. Trying to do a little too much was Keon Dawkins. That was a nice trap in the corner. I'd like to see those two guys go foot to foot and build it from the ground up with their hands. But uh, that was sufficient. Looks like East is overloading right here. Side pass. Look from downtown, in and out. 
Good offensive rebound and back up, and that is Terrence Copney Jackson, and you'll see that all night long from him. He's on the glass right away. Coach, he comes to play. You know, I talked to him before the game. He says he's the first team. He's not really asked to do a lot, but just play hard and uh, be a leader. See the East swarming out of that 1-2-2 two, two look that they have so far, and it's been very effective. They've gotten two turnovers against CDE so far. Three see, turnovers against CD now early in the game. Uh, let's see if they trap up top also, or, or if they're just going to the corners. Era Hobus is in the middle, but he's got to move a little bit more definitively to get to the ball, and you're going to get a charge call here, and that'll be against Wayne Fletcher, his first team first here in the first quarter. Good defense, way to cut off the baseline. Coach, when we coached, you could step out of bounds when a guy was penetrating right. the baseline and it could be a block or a charge. The rules change, you have to keep your, your, your baseline foot close to the baseline, you can't step out of bounds or it'll be a block. Nice pull up shot there along the baseline. Again, Anthony Stevens with four points early here. And six to nothing, CDs leads it and back again in that one, two, two. Anthony Stevens, the big little guy. You'll see him do a, a multitude of things today. Eli Vega doing a lot of pushing against Dara Hovis to the inside and another turnover, fourth turnover here by Central Dolph, make it five now, down the court five times and Wayne Fletcher seating up. He calls timeout, 5.59 to go in the first quarter. You're watching the High School Sports Live TV Game of the Week on Fox 43.2. You may recycle your electronics, appliances, and mercury thermostats at the Dolphin County Recycling Center. In addition to eight local drop-off sites for recyclable materials. Recycling matters in Dolphin County. Since 2001, Dolphin County has recycled over 10,000 tons of electronics. And 1.6 million tons of recyclables like cardboard and plastics. Keep up the great work. Bring, Bring it on! on. Advanced Hoops is offering a special, a special middle school boys winter league. It's not too late to sign up. To find out more, go to www.advancedhoops.com. CD East with the basketball and the lead here so far and the momentum. They've really dictated the game so far with their 1-2-2 trap. Absolutely. Now they throw it away. Dawkins with the ball back down the floor, gets it off to a guard. Leighton Freed. East is the man-to-man. -man. Here is Wayne Fletcher the second, son of the coach. It's always a fun job and another steal and quickly on the other end converting that steal is Elijah Cooper the freshman Very impressive freshman I'm gonna tell you what see the East looks great so far. There's Dawkins Dawkins pulls up Dawkins gets a roll not gonna go Yanked down again by Wells See the East is com in complete control of this game. They really are Playing at the speed they want Down the last trip CD was in a 2-3. They've switched and went man-to-man. -man. It'll be interesting to see what the matchups are. Little weak side double screen down. There's Copney going up. Copney Jackson going up again. Yanked on down by Dawkins. Gets it out ahead to Fletcher. Fletcher trying to make a move. He's being guarded very well so far by Elijah Cooper, the freshman. Another shot up, not going to go. Fall away, Dawkins. That's not going to go. Tipped around by Arahovas and finally brought down by Copney Jackson. I'll tell you what, if there's a 50 50 ball, Copney Jackson's getting it every time. And he takes pride in that, coach. He takes pride in being the first guy to those loose balls. Good look there by Elijah Cooper. Couldn't get it to go. And here comes Fletcher back. Fletcher, only a sophomore, leads the team in scoring at 11.8 points a game. Goes a little pick and flare there, then back inside it goes to Freed. Freed trying to get position, and he's being guarded hard by number four, Eli Vega, who's going to pick up his foul. Eli Vega, whether he's playing in the post or out of the guard, is going to be physical with you every time he plays. Absolutely. Vega, as well as number 15, Anthony Stevens. Get it in bounce to Fletcher, Dawkins. Dockers with a turnaround move, and for Dockins finally gets one to go. Nice little fake and then a half hook by Keon Dockins, his first deuce, and the first points for Central Dauphin with 3.51 to go in the first. Looks like they're in a matchup, Coach. Yeah, there's some kind of matchup right now. Ball knocked away here. 
underneath. And again, Anthony Stevens finding a way to try to get a shot off. The little big guy. Boy, does he play physically. Foul goes up against Leighton Freed. That'll be his first. Team second. Both teams have two team fouls so far. Anthony Stevens at the line. First time at the line tonight for anybody from CD East. Stevens rattles it out. Stevens is averaging 10 points a game, and he does a lot of rebounding for him. I'm going to say his worth to this team goes far beyond that 10 points. He's everywhere. Absolutely. Saw him at Chambersburg have an outstanding game the other week. Very tough on the board. Second shot up. That's not good. And we've seen a lot of that during the season. Points given away at the foul line. Dawkins. Dawkins a little off balance on that shot. Dawkins trying to make it happen right now, but going up strong but finishing weak here at the moment. Yes. Looks like he's trying to do a little bit too much. Timeout on the floor, 3.24 to go in the first quarter. 8-2, to two, CD East leads it on High School Sports Live TV. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction and welcome back and the numbers so far we're starting to look at uh, bear out that CD East is playing pretty well they're playing very well they're four for six from the field and CD unfortunately is one for five from the field so we're gonna see what CD does here we're watching this defense that they're playing looks like a two three right now let's see if they match up out of it Strong move by Wells, man, right down the lane, and Wells in for his first two of the night. Well, he saw raw meat to a lion that time. Absolutely. I love to see that kid on the block. He does a very good job. Arahovas is going to get called for putting his shoulder into the guy going right on down, and so Arahovas picks up his foul. Be the team third now. That's the second charge taken by the East High Panthers. Georgie Ar Georgius Arahovas, a senior, six foot four. Seven turnovers so far for CD in five minutes. That's not a number you're going to be real happy about if you're Wayne Fletcher. Now heading out to the three-point line, and guess what? Mr. Jackson says, I can hit it there, too. He's now got seven points in the game. Kopney Jackson with the first tray of the night for the Panthers. And, Coach, he was very, very excited about playing the Rams. There's Arahovas again. Good job by Arahovas, just holding up there and waiting. I have an infant two that time, real easy. Showed a lot of patience on that offensive move. 13 4 with 2.30 to go in the first quarter. Don't forget, you can watch us at hsslivetv.com. Watch all our games throughout the course of the season. Replays. Baseline move. Copney Jackson again trying to make the move happen. Dawkins with a rebound. Looks like East has it figured out as far as how to penetrate that CD East matchup. Or two, three. And there's that half hook again. And up and in, Arahovas on the offensive glass. A nice job by Arahovas of getting the stick back. And the foul is good, or the bucket's good. The foul will count. And the foul is going to be on Elijah Cooper, his first. Check that to say on Cokney Jackson. That'll be his first. The shot is up and good. And Arahovas carrying his team so far with five points in the first quarter, two minutes to go. CD still in that matchup. And I'll correct myself one more time. That was the first one. Cooper. Ball goes out of bounds. And you feel a little momentum right now for Central Dolphin here at the end of the quarter. Coach, and a lot of that is due to the impatience of the Panthers. They've got to take their time, get the buckets the same way they got them earlier. I'll tell you what, Elijah Cooper's doing a great job on Aaron Hovis in the middle. So many times you see teams play like a 1-2-2. Two, two. It's tough to get that middle guy covered. They're, they're committing to that. There's Fletcher. Fletcher finds a hard basket there as he gets his hands on the ball for the first time tonight and scores. So back to a four-point game now with a minute and a half to go. That was a very good shot and very hotly contested. This little zone right here has given some problems to CD East. And tapped around. Arahovas, who seems to be everywhere right now, gets the rebound. Here Thurston comes Fletcher. Thurston Wells got it right where he wanted it. Just didn't convert. 
Mm. Oh, and there you see a push off into the game here is Josiah Stanley, and Stanley just pushing off there. He'll pick up a foul. That looked like some old school basketball. Uh huh. They're not going to let you cut through the middle unless you say hi to me. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. And give me a little love. <laughs> and that's one of those. I'm on the floor. I just came off the bench. I'm establishing my turf. Here's Dawkins on the baseline. He's got peace here. Giving it to Fletcher. Well, I'll tell you what, Fletcher is being covered like a blanket yes, by he Elijah is. Cooper. That's very good defense. Every move is a tough one right now. Hard move. Inside, Air Hobes again kicks it back out. Free with the shot. Freed misses. Take it down again by Kobe Jackson. Kobe Jackson on the run. Baseline it goes. Flip it up underneath. Not going to go. Not a particularly good shot there as he got blocked off. And the ball belongs to the Rams with 35.3 seconds to go in the first quarter. The Panthers are getting a little impatient, Coach. I just think they need to go back to what was working earlier in the game. Demetrius Matthews checks in, a six-foot senior for the Panthers. Averages 2.3 points a game. Big bucket here right now. It's CD has kind of crawled the mountain here. They started out being down 8 nothing in this game. Dawkins wants it on the block. Yeah, and that's, I tell you what, if Dawkins on the block and asks for it, he's getting it. And he has a real mismatch down there because he switched and Elijah Cooper switched. He got caught and Elijah Cooper's going to pick up his second foul. So that's a big foul here in the first quarter. It's a huge foul. You wonder if Coach Hill will go to the bench and get him out of there. That's a long five seconds. That really was. <laughs> it's Fletcher. Fletcher kicks it out. Three and a great look from downtown. And that was Keon Dawkins with his first tray. Five points of the game. Six seconds left here in the first quarter. CD's on a 12-4 run. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. And it's 13 to 12. And what was a eight-nothing run out here has turned into a one-point lead by the Panthers at the end of one. We take a break. We'll come right back. This is the High School Sports Live to be Game of the Week on Fox 43.2. But before we go to that, before we go to that, we are going to Jeff Thompson right now with a timeout for Thompson. This is always an interesting game. Two teams from the same school district squaring off. Mike Redland matched up against their West Shore School District rival Cedar Cliff. It's a great matchup. And this Central Dauphin District game happens in the Commonwealth Division. Known as the Mid-Pen 1, when the league formed some 40 years ago, it has always been the heavyweight division of the overall Mid-Pen. And at the head of the class this season, undefeated Cumberland Valley suffered their first loss on Friday. With Jackson Boone out with a knee injury, they fell to Chambersburg by two. But the game that night that really caught my attention happened in State College. Our own Kirk Smallwood turned the Harrisburg Cougars into the perennial standard bearer of the division. But with the changing of the guard, the Cougars have fallen on hard times. They didn't register their first win until the season was more than half over. But up in State College, they showed a uh, testament to coach, rookie coach Damone Maxwell's leadership in the belief and execution of his players. They all stayed on board and beat State College. It's not too late for CD or East to make some noise in the division. Good stuff there. Jeff Thompson with uh, timeout for Thompson. And that was a huge win the other night, beat State College. But State College now and Cumberland Valley are both tied the division lead at 8-1 and one in the Commonwealth. Chambersburg at 5-4. and four. So those two are fighting out. And guess what? They play the last game of the season against each other at State College. That's going to be a barn burner. That should be a fun one. Of course, Altoona in there at 5-5 five and five and 4. Central Dolphin at 5th at 4-5. and five. Central Dolphin East 3-6. and six. And Carlisle 3-6. and six. And then 1-9 and nine, Harrisburg. But I'll tell you what, Cougars starting to play. And you said they were coming together. They're going to come together. They're going to figure it out. Well, there was a walk right there. And the call is made. And that's against uh, Malachi Cofield. So 13-12. to 12, and Talk a little bit about the first quarter numbers wise here coach first quarter stats CD was four for nine and CD East was five for nine from two from three CD was one for two East was one for three free throws one for one for CD 0 for two from CD East rebounds eight for CD five for CD East turnovers seven for CD two for CD East. Nice job here, really attacking this zone. A good job to get it to Wells. Wells just couldn't get it, but they got the shot. They wanted good patience by CDs coming out of the break. That was a great call by Coach Hill. 
and that's one of the things that they're going to have to continue to do. I think they have an advantage inside. How about those turnover numbers you gave right there? Seven to two so far with CD, and yet they absorbed that, managed to come back in the game. But there's another one here to start second quarter. It's not what you want if you're Coach Fletcher. No. And Coach Fletcher prides himself on having a good passing team. There you see Coach Fletcher. Outstanding coach, won a couple of mid pen championships back to back years. Of course, they didn't have playoffs, what, in 2020? Right. Uh, but he won, he won Commonwealth and then won uh -huh. again in 2021. Uh, nice pass to the interior, but it's tapped out. Here's tapped away again with the basketball is Malachi Cofield, and Cofield is going to get fouled before he gets to the basket. Very good drive by Cofield. Showed a lot of explosiveness and quickness. So the foul is on Demetrius Matthew in there off the bench, and that'll be the team's sixth foul. So next one is going to be one and one. Pretty good physical game so far. Referees yes. let them play, but here they finally get it into Fletcher. Fletcher with a half hook. Not a strong shot. Not a strong shot at all. I would have liked to see a couple more passes to see if you can get something easier. They definitely have decided tonight they're not going to let Fletcher beat him. He averages 12 points a game, and he's having a tough time finding the ball for a shot. And CD's back in that matchup. You're just taking the guy who comes in your area. And the thing with the matchup in the matchup zone, you never guard space. You have to always have a man responsibility somewhere in part of the area of the court. A foul's called against uh, Central Dauphin here. And it's marked up on Keon Dawkins. That'll be his first. Dawkins is a four-year player for CD, and I look for him to really show up, uh, particularly in the second half. A little surprised here that Coach Hill has got uh, Elijah Cooper in there with the two fouls. Cooper kicks it off. Three-point look, and there it is again. Beautiful shot this time off the bench to Demetrius Matthews, who shows he's got some range. Nice shot by Matthews. First points of the night for him, Trey. And there's a hack coming down the lane. It's going to be on Nasir Henry, who's just in there. A lot of players being played tonight by Ryan Hill. Malachi Cofield has found a way to impact the game. He said, I can just put my head down, go to the basket, and they'll foul me. And I can shoot some free throws. Cofield, only a 50% free throw shooter on the season, but gets two here. Goes through his routine, such an important thing. If you young people are watching out there to get that good routine, and you see it paid off here for Cofield on his first one. And it's Easter. Jelani Easter, that is, coming into the game now for the first time tonight for the Rams. Cofield has a nice stroke. He has a nice wide base. Easter had a brother who played here a couple years ago, and he's only a freshman. Two nice strokes here. And you can see where this team shoots 70% from the free throw line. Tonight, they're 100. Three out of three. Two-point lead right now by C.D. East. In transition, he's had uh, Matthew open early and didn't get in the ball. There's that little big guy. Boy, that was a strong move on the baseline by Stevens. And right back up. Are they going to call before he went up? I don't think so. And, Coach, that's where I think C.D. East has an advantage. I think that their inside play and their ability to score around the basket makes them a little bit stronger than C.D. And that's the second foul in Arahovas, and I think Wayne Fletcher's probably going to go to the bench and get someone for him. As at the line is Nasir Henry. Henry rattles it out. Nasir Henry is 6'5", junior forward. Hagen's back in the game now. Ron Hagen's. So here's Henry. Henry has a pretty good-looking stroke. He didn't make the first one. Let's see if he gets the second one. Yeah, nice go. little stroke there. He lifted his legs that time. One out of four, though, from the line tonight so far for this CD East team. Mm -hmm. East is back in their man-to-man. -man. Look at that jump out there. Very well executed. Switched out on that. You're going to switch. If you jump switch, it's so much better. You make that offensive player take a step back. Look how far out the offense is operating right now for CD. Yeah, they're pushing them out. And it's going to go back over. Great piece of defense that time by the Panthers. Great piece. Good job by Demetrius Matthew. And he's going to check out there. Copney Jackson back in. Nine turnovers in the game so far for CD, and those numbers can hurt you. That's, those are missed opportunities any way you look at it. 
Looks like he's making a concentrated effort to get that ball on the box. Now you want to play it inside out. You got Henry in there, and Henry only averages one and a half points a game. He's in there right now for Wells. It'll be Jackson. Good defense here, the double team. Taken away by Hagens. Hagens up. Hagens down with authority. Wow. Hagens has bounced. <laughs> he lingered on that one a little bit when coach. Yeah, he's, he's a good athlete. That's a steal and an exclamation point. One point lead now as Central Dolphin has come all the way back within one. I think it'll be a good time to get Wells back in there. I think you're right on the matchup. Inside though. presence. Underneath ah, it goes, but that. Henry misses, but followed up by Henry. Nice job of staying with him, the big guy, and he's got two points. He's got three in the game now. Nice job, Henry. Good job. Played a little catch with himself from one side to the other. It's the old Superman drill. Fletcher. Just a little pick that, rather. That was Cofield with a miss. Hey, what? Henry's getting some nice moments here, and he's answering the bell. He's playing some very good filler minutes for the East High Panthers. He's listed at 6'5, looks about 6'8. Pulled down again by Malachi Cofield. Three point lead here for the Rams, 341 to go in the second quarter. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, our Jack Giambalvo halftime report. We'll also have a Hoffman steal by Henry. Henry up. Oh, oh you're going to get Basket. offensive goaltending. Basket interference. Nasir Henry took it down, put it in. And you're now going to have it back to a five point lead as checking back into the game is Keon Dawkins. Check it out, would be Freed. Or oh, Freed still in there, rather. Dawkins is one of the main cogs in this Ram offense. Cofield out of the game. Now they go back to a 2 1 2 zone here. I think they're saying right now to Central Dolphin, beat us from the outside if you can. And Dawkins with a shot. Top of the key, won't go. You got to make some of them. What a hustle. What a hustle. I'll tell you what, CD East is playing some serious defense right now. Copney Jackson, tough shot there on the run. Pulled down by Mason Gross just in the game a moment ago. Gross kicks it off. Up goes Dawkins. Dawkins missed. Tapped up again. Nice job by Hagens of staying with it that time. Off the glass. He's got four. Hagens, the six foot senior, has been a factor ever since he touched the floor. Underneath it goes. Nasir Henry gets it, gets stuck for a moment. Double T kicks it back out to Kobe Jackson. Kobe Jackson's trying to do maybe a little too much right yes. now. Yes. I mean, I like his enthusiasm and his hustle, and he, you, you could never fall because he hustles 100% of the time, but just trying to do something a little too fast. He's going to take a break, and here comes Thurston Wells back in. Hopefully on the offensive end, they'll call Wells' his number. Seven turnovers now for C.D. East in the game. Back to that 2-3 two, or 2-1-2 two, two, if you like. The middleman's kind of active on that, so it always becomes whatever it becomes when that middleman offensively is traveling through there. Got it to Dawkins. Dawkins up. Tell you what. Oh, that was probably should have been a shot. There's a long look downtown, and Mason Gross says, I can fill it up, coach. Mason. And a tie game. Two minutes to go in the first half. Six foot two junior. All the way back here, Central Dolphin. Underneath it goes and blocked by Gross. Back up it goes, and you're going to get a foul called. And the block actually was by Freed, but a foul called on the second effort. Coach, sometimes when you catch that ball in the post, you got to be a little selfish, particularly when you got the body, you're the inside presence. Ah, sometimes you just got to take it to the offense. You got to know when to have a little pig in you, and you got to know when to distribute. Yes. Here's Henry again. I like Henry's play. I really do. He's a little, little bit of a street bean right now, but I'll tell you what. The guy gets it done in there, and he's passed the ball well. He's scored a couple times. Good free throw shooter. There you see Coach Ryan Hill. He likes Henry, too. Get yes. A little bit off the side of the rim. He, he does anything wrong with his shot. He gets a left hand involved a little bit, and you can see the ball yeah. kind of go away sometimes. But when he bends his legs, yeah. pretty good. Coach, the other thing I, I see with young free throw shooters, they put the ball on the left side and raise it up to shoot it with yeah. their right hand. Right. Bring it up off that right hip. Yes. Get it where that elbow's under the ball. Here's a big three. Not going to go. And there's that guy, Hagens, again, this time drawing the foul, I think, from Henry over his back. 
I'll tell you, Hagen's has been a spark here for them since he's come into the game. Yes, he's doing a really, really good job. I, I love his athleticism and his uh, his fieriness. I mean, he just comes to play. Big foul there. That's a second foul on Henry now. So you wonder if Ryan Hill will go to the bench and get him out of there. Into the game comes Fletcher. And he's in for free for Central Dolphin. So at the line is Deron Higgins, only a 50% free throw shooter, as we said earlier. That one rolls in and out. One of the few things he's not done well since he's come in the game tonight. Yeah, he's, he's been a factor. 22 21, CD East leads it. Look at the basket. Inside son. goes Thurston Wells up. There you go. In. Good head and shoulder strike by Wells to get that shot. Yeah, again, coach, sometimes when you get it in the post, you got to be selfish. Sometimes. Wells works for the ball, too. He's not a guy that stands there and waits. He tries to go and create. Easter, the freshman out there. Good dribble drive. That? Great job by Dawkins, just kind of slashing through. He was going to take that shot out at about 25 feet, wasn't he? Absolutely. That's what you want out of your four-year player. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got that big body, too. He comes right at you. Snuck behind the defense. All of a sudden, Wells getting involved here, huh? And they said, hey, we know we are big guys. Got six points in the game. 45 seconds to go here in the first half. 26-23, CDs leads it. And Dawkins coming across the baseline. Wells gets in his way. It was a nice note call for the official. Yeah, yeah, good job. Two big guys banging. I'd like to see Wells a little closer to the basket. Here it is to Fletcher, Fletcher trying to find a shot. I'll tell you what, he has been shut down tonight by the freshman, Elijah Cooper. Yes, he, he hasn't gotten his average amount of attempts. Doc pulling up nice that time. Keon Dawkins has got another deuce. He's got nine points here in the first half, and at 26-25, CDs leads it. 19 seconds to go. What's your number here you'd like to win at, Coach? Almost a steal. I'd like to go in probably around between eight and six. And you get a timeout called there with 8.8 .8 seconds to go. We'll keep it right here as Ryan Hill wants to make sure he gets the piece he wants. There's Wayne Fletcher. He's going to try to make sure he doesn't get that. So let's go to Coach uh, Smallwood here. What are you calling right now if you're Ryan Hill in the huddle and you want to get a piece? Thurston Wells has been hot here the last several possessions down. I would ride him until the wheels fall off. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the guy can play. You know, last oh, yeah. year, you know, when I was coaching at Harrisburg, I mean, he had a big night against us, and everything was from block to block. I think that he could have the same effectiveness in this game against the CD defense. So many times I love to see a coach set up a situation here when you have the ball underneath your own basket where you set up your best shooter and your best post player on the same side, make the defender have to either double down or pop out, and if you're one-on-one -on -one in the post, give it to that guy, let that post player go one-on-one -on -one down there. Let's right. see if that happens. Make, a, make the defense make choices. Now they're back in that zone again. The other piece is Coach CD has 16 fouls, so if you get it down there close to the basket, you want to make sure you let that thing go, and hopefully you get fouls. There's a screen across, and now they finally are going to get it into Stevens. Stevens kicks it back out. You got Kofi Jackson who's going to have to take a shot soon. Here comes Vega, and not going to go, and that'll be the end of the first half here, as it is 26 to 25. CD East leads it all here on High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43.2, and we've got an interview coming up right now with uh, Mr. Hoffman here, all here on Fox 43.2. Hi, I'm Gary Sutton. I'm the host of High School Sports Live TV, the game of the week every week on Fox 43.2. And you know, we're out here today though at Hoffman Ford, and I'm reminded a little bit of this, uh, this truck right here, might have been the one that Ryan Hoffman used to drive around and he doesn't anymore by the way here at Hoffman Ford. Uh, he was featured in a Just Call Me Ryan segment back when he was a younger man and Ryan's with us today. Ryan, good to see you buddy. How you doing? Good. Very good today. You're about community and you're about helping the community. Anybody that's ever watched our high school sports live TV broadcast 
your name's always prominently there, the Hoffman Ford Player of the Week. We talk about those all the time. It's something that my grandfather, obviously, again, he was mayor of High Spire for many years. So again, it's a name that people trusted to vote him in as mayor at the time. So that started it. We'll obviously continue that through us as the Hoffman brand, if you want to call that, in our community to make certain that we can carry on that legacy for the next generation. I hope to pass it on to my kids someday. You know, life is full of partnerships, Ryan, and your dad and your grandfather had a partnership with the original business. You and your brother Todd have a partnership now. You know, partnerships uh, can always have a yin and a yang to it. Uh, I'm not sure which part you play, yin or yang, but uh, you know, talk a little bit about the give and take of a partnership and how that works together. You were talking about teamwork. Uh, now you talk about teamwork between two people and making sure this runs, and Hoffman certainly runs very smoothly because of that yin and yang, you and Todd. Talk about that. Uh, again, it is the yin and the yang. Uh, we are two different, but together we make a whole. Uh, he, obviously, he likes the service side of the aspect, and I like the sales side of the aspects of the business, so it works for us. Uh, from that standpoint, again, like you said, my grandfather and dad, they kind of did the same thing. My grandfather was more on the fixed operations, and my dad was more on the sales side, so it definitely plays out to our advantage having us both here under the same roof doing business together as partners, because again, we help our employees and our team makes Hoffman Ford who we are. He's obviously my brother and I love him dearly. So Ryan, we're gonna show you a little piece of film right here. We had a number of people who, you know, talk about your role in the community. Throughout my educational experience as a teacher, coach, administrator, and now superintendent of the Steelton High Spire School District, and the Hoffman Ford has supported us tremendously through various projects and efforts uh, that most likely are, are there to support the students, support the kids, support the student athletes, and everyone involved. Most recently, we worked with Hoffman Ford on a project to purchase three vans. By doing so, we were able to offset expenses uh, for transportation costs for field trips, uh, sports teams, and those types of things. Hoffman Ford has been a very important community partner with projects like the Heroes Grove and other projects throughout the county. For example, baseball fields, football fields, soccer fields. I can tell you numerous uh, times where we asked Hoffman Ford for their help and they were always there. When I walked in Earl Hoffman's office over 20 years ago and I asked for support to get a program started, where we could put baskets in a gymnasium and be able to just do these things for the community and try to build these programs, he didn't hesitate. He hasn't hesitated for the last 20 years, and I can't say enough about how much his support and Huffman Ford support uh, has meant to us. What do you think when you see that bunch of people talking about what Hoffman Ford means to them? It makes me feel really good, because again, that's what we're about here at Hoffman Ford, is giving back to the community, so. Hoffman Ford, Ryan Hoffman, Todd Hoffman, carrying on a tradition, a custodian of excellence, if you will, right here at Hoffman Ford and Jonestown Pike here in Harrisburg. Where were you last night? Do you know how embarrassing that was for me? <gasps> no, 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 don't deflect. Pfft. Well, that wasn't passive aggressive. Listen, I just need to know that I can trust you're gonna be there when I need you. Hello? just hung up on me. Not cool. Track your spending with our personal finance tool. Just another way to have better conversations with your money from F&M Trust. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you.
across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. We wake up with the sun. We live in a place we're proud to call home. For us, it's knowing that those we help are neighbors, friends, family. As the leader in providing the best orthopedic care for our community, we come together to do our part. You may recycle your electronics, appliances, and mercury thermostats at the Dolphin County Recycling Center. In addition to eight local drop-off sites for recyclable materials. Recycling matters in Dolphin County. Since 2001, Dolphin County has recycled over 10,000 tons of electronics. And 1.6 million tons of recyclables like cardboard and plastics. Keep up the great work. Bring, Bring it on! on. Welcome back to Central Dolphin. It's a Jack Team and Valvo halftime report. 26-25 at the half. Central Dolphin, he's kind of hanging on right now. They've been able to answer the runs by Central Dolphin, who was down 8 to nothing to start the game. It looked like the bus was leaving town, but Central Dolphin showed its medal fighting back. What did you see the first half here, Kirk? I, I like the way CD kind of regrouped. I mean, they had a lot of turnovers early, and then they re regrouped, got their footing. And then with the insertion of Darren Hagens in the lineup, I'd like to see him play a little bit more with Keon Dawkins. I think they could play off one another pretty well. I thought those two guys did a great job with one-two punch. You look at CD East, though, the first half, Fletcher obviously was on the scouting chart. He's not going to beat us tonight. And I think that really a great job done by Cooper in the first half. Elijah Cooper, the freshman, blanketed him the whole half. And Fletcher walked out of there only with two points. Yeah, but he was number one on the chart, and that opened some things up for the uh, some other people. Georgios Arahovas uh, did a nice job opening their offense up with a couple left-handed post moves. And that got them started. Let's take a look at our Capital Blue Cross halftime stats, and it pours out just how even this game is so far. And we'll put those up on the screen right now. Our Capital Blue Cross halftime stats, and there you see it. Break it down for me, guys. Well, actually, Central Dolphins nine for 18, and. CD East is 9 for 20. So I'd say the shooting overall is pretty even. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the free throws, uh, East is 2 for 5, and CD is 3 for 4. So, I mean, they're letting them play. And the big number right there is turnovers, 10 to 7. The Rams with three more turnovers, and that's something I know Coach Fletcher will want to clean up this half. And that is our Jack and Valvo halftime reporters. We're getting ready to start the third quarter right now, all here on High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43. Gary Sutton with you. Alongside of Kurt Smallwood and Jeff Thompson, the coaches, and we are ready to get this one underway here as the officials coming out and uh, throwing the ball back out there. And here we go. Looking forward to a great second half. This game is, I don't care what their records are, toss it out. This is always a great game every year we've had it. Again, Coach, I was blessed to be, in, uh, be involved with 10 of these when I was at CDEs from 1988 to 1993. Well, this CDEs team played with a lot of grit. For CD East in the first half, uh, Kokney Jackson had seven points. Cooper with two. Matthews with three. Nasir Henry with six. I liked his game so far. Anthony Stevens with two. And then you're going down, and it is going to be a player control foul. Post each of, each high is, is bumping those cutters. And anytime they get penetration, there's a body there to either take the block or the charge. Get your officials tonight, Chris Delosier, Tim Deljonovan, and Phil Brown doing really a good job in this game thus far. Looks like they're back in the matchup. That's the third foul, by the way, on Cooper, and so that's a big foul. There's the pull up. Nice shot by the freshman, Elijah Cooper. And let me check that, by the way. That was the third foul actually on Higgins. Elijah Cooper, the freshman, gets 13 points per game. Starting to come alive. This is a hard move to the basket by Freed, and Freed is up and in, and for Freed, that's his first bucket tonight. Nice move by Freed. Good patience. 
Elijah Cooper only with four points in the game tonight, but uh, his defensive prowess has really been where he's lived. Nice, nice. pass. Here's that we were talking about, Absolutely. that inside pass. Back up strong by Wells, and Wells missing the first shot, but you and I were talking about, it. isn't there a beauty to the high-low passing, the post-passing game, and right there it was on display. I love to see it, Coach. I love to see it. That was a great pass by Terrence Copney Jackson, and Wells has got to finish that thing. He's got to finish it. Eric Hovis with the basketball. Fletcher getting some tough shots. They're not strong shots right now. He's being kept away from the basket well by the defensive CDs. Here's the Vega. Vega really has not been a factor of the game so far. I don't even remember him touching the ball like two or three times the whole game. No, he, he hasn't really done a whole lot. On the other end, Coach, I'd like to see Wayne Fletcher get it going a little bit. You know, he's a good player, one of the better players in the mid pen Conference. Here's a little big guy. Here's Stevens gets it blocked away there at the end, and a nice job on the block by Malachi Cofield. Here's Free. Free trying to make something happen. Kicks it outside. Back inside it goes to Arahovis. Arahovis up. Arahovis home, and Arahovis with a nice inside move, and he's now got seven points in the contest. Great move by Arahovis. Back in that 2 3 kind of matchup zone. Kobe Jackson. He's just being real patient right here. Setting a screen out top there by Stevens. They're trying to look that high low off you were talking about. Stevens hard to the basket. Tough shot. Not going to go. Free gets a rebound. He kind of felt like he got hit on that. The Rams with their first lead here so far. And again, there's Dawkins up on the glass. And Dawkins puts it away. And all of a sudden, East with her uh, Cumberland or Central Dolphin right now with the run. 31 28, they lead it. Coach, this is Dawkins' kind of game. Just got a bucket on one end, got a steal on this end. Big guy can handle it, too. Look at this. It's like get out of town. Hard move, not going to go. Air Hose tries to get on it, but saved instead by Stevens. Get a three point look outside. That's not going to go either. Dive Great hustle. The, dive on the floor by Wells. Yanked back out of there by Cofield. Three for the quarter, that's not going to go. Off the hands of Dawkins. And there's Stevens dishing it off. Getting it to Vega. I'm not sure Kobe Jackson was ready to shoot that one. No, his feet weren't ready. Yeah, his feet were down. He already had his foot long in the front. Didn't have any leverage there to get that shot up. There you see Wayne Fletcher on the bench. The senior Wayne Fletcher. There's the junior Wayne Fletcher right behind him. Wayne Fletcher the second. His shots have all been away from the basket. They're pushing yes. him away. He's not getting that positive motion up to the glass so far. Right. They have him floating off balance. Tell you what, watch Vega play defense, man. It is physical. Yes, it is. And that's going to be stepped out of bounds by Dawkins. Ball goes back over to CD East. 4.28 to go here in the third quarter. Although Vega's only 5'8", coach, we've seen him on some big dudes. And he's not afraid to get in there. He'll get in your back a little bit, give you a little love, and You'll make a friend of him right away if you have the basketball. East is probing. There's a pull up. Stop and pop. That's a nice shot. Great Pulled shot. out again by Arahovis. Here comes Dawkins again. Dawkins is always looking for a shot. Yes, he is. You know, in years past, Coach, Dawkins was maybe the third option, sometimes even the fourth. He gets the ball to Fletcher. Fletcher, oh, there's going to be a moving screen on Dawkins. Now that he's moved up the food chain, he looks at the <laughs> basket a whole lot more. He sure does. He's hunting all the time. <laughs> and of course, as more players gravitate to him, he then now opens up more people on the floor. Second foul on Dawkins on that screen. Looks like a 1-3-1 one, one or something, Coach. I'm trying to figure this out. Well, got Dawkins in the middle. It's definitely a matchup zone because they're all playing a man responsibility. Nice rebound by Fletcher. Uh, oh, and there's a foul on the big guy for C.D. East, and that's on the Sear Henry. I'm sure you, I'm sure you don't <laughs> want to spend that in open court. You don't want your big guy out there getting uh, 28 feet away from the basket, fouling a guard. So Henry, I'm again staying in the game here for the moment. I like the matchup with Wells on Dawkins. And there's again Fletcher rushing a little bit, but another rebound. <laughs> by Malachi Cofield, and Cofield showing his value here, putting it back. 
He has four points. Back within five now comes CD East. Nice stick back by Cofield. CD East did not, were not down anywhere in the first half, but here in the second half, they find themselves down five. Nice block there by Arahovitz. Here comes Dockett. Guess where this is going? I mean, that was, that was a truck. That's right. And he was getting ready to deliver. Dawkins gets a lot of attempts this year. What I like about Dawkins is he makes you have to either stop him or foul. That's right. And he's a, not a bad foul shooter. Well, Dawkins at the line on the season is at uh, 50%. Oh. That far foul is on uh, Copley. Copley Jackson. What a nice stroke here by Dawkins. He says, when I'm having a good night, I'm having a good night, guys. Yeah, and Coach, you expect them to shoot free throws better when they're at home. Exactly On the right. road, it's a little different. They're a 70% free throw shooting team. So Dawkins with the second shot up, but that's also good. So there is no place like home, Dorothy said somewhere. She clicked those <laughs> ruby slippers, right? Right. This is a, it looks like it's a 3-2, and it's a matchup. And you watch right now, they are, yeah. they are off. I don't know if it's a pure matchup. They're kind of semi showing a trap on the on the side, but it's really confused. CD East right now. They're not quite sure what they're looking at. Vega had the right idea, but threw the ball to the wrong team. Arahovis, strong move by Arahovis. Not going to go. Tries to get his hands on the ball. Vega's out with it. Vega trying to get to the basket hard. Here's Vegas. Nice play by Vegas. Eli Vega with his first deuce of the night off his own steal. Nice play by Vega. Five points. 224 to go in the third. Quickly played third quarter. Dawkins underneath. Finds Freed. Freed can't make it. Freed gets it back himself, trying to go back up among three guys. And he's going to get called for nothing. A timeout called by his coach over on the bench. Wayne Fletcher saves him. 215 to go in the third. 35-30. Central Dolphin leads it. This is High School Sports Live TV. Across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. Advanced Hoops is offering middle school basketball league for any kids who need more playing experience over the winter. It's not too late to go to advancedhoops.com. And coming up at the end of the game is the Capital Blue Cross post game and the Hoffman player of the game and the Capital Region Insurance Agency play of the game. Lots to go here. We're just talking about something in the post. When you get a guard that gets caught in there against a big man, you used to teach a technique coach that a lot of people don't teach sometimes. I used to teach my kids, just put your underarm in there. Wrap your hand around, wrap your arm around the ball, put the ball in your underarm. Set piece there. They got it to where they wanted it with Hagens, and it was stolen away nicely by a guy who's been playing great defense all night, Elijah Cooper. He's got to take care of the ball now. You can't throw the ball to the other team and expect to win. They're overloading right here. They have uh, Copney Jackson on the wing, there and they throw again. it away. Just confusing, and up and not going to go down that time off the hands of Cofield. Kept in bounds though and saved. It's going to be a foul. And that's going to be the fourth foul now on Nasir Henry. That's a huge foul. His last two fouls, Coach, weren't, weren't really conducive to winning. Nope. You know, the, the, the one before that was in the open court, and that one there, you, you, that's what, not what you want. So Henry picks up his fourth foul, and Ryan Hill knows his team better than we do. He's going to go with him. Well, Here's Fletcher. Sweat it out. Fletcher trying to get something on the baseline. Again, who's on him? Cooper. And again, trying to pass it out. Can't get the ball back outside. So another good piece of defense here by CD East. Elijah Cooper has done a great job defensively, particularly when he's around Wayne Fletcher. He's stopping the penetration, and he's contesting all of his shots. They're going to 1-3-1 three, three, now. And there's a good look. Copney Jackson with his three, second three of the night. Copney Jackson with 10 points now. Pulls his team back within two. Huge three. Copney Jackson, the all-around athlete, doing a very good job. Has not seen the ball much here since they went into that zone. Has not really had any good shots. Copney Jackson, as you said, is a slasher. He's the kind of guy who wants to get a chance to go to the rack. But he showed you could also nail it from downtown. He has two threes tonight. One minute to go here in the third quarter. Copney Jackson's been getting some football looks from Willing, West Virginia, and Clarion. Arahovas, nice pass. Good move without the basketball. 
Cofield can't get it down. And they're going to call a travel. Or no, they're going to call a foul, rather. East has really got to be careful. I just saw a flasher come right across the face of one of the East High players. You can never let that happen. Make the guy, make the cutter cut behind you and not across your face. And here comes Hagens in for Arahovas, who now has three fouls, three either way this half as far as team fouls. So a chance now to tie it up or take the lead here for the Panthers with 45 seconds to go in the third. That zone has been confusing in the half court situation for them, but they've hit a couple of big threes when they needed it. East is prying a little bit, trying to prod and see what they can come up with. Got it to the baseline off a oh. tip and put it away as Demetrius Matthews, who always seems to be moving without the basketball. He has five points. We've got a tie, 20 seconds to go in the third. Matthews is doing a great job today. CD wants the last shot of the quarter. Back out to Freed. Off to Matt, off to Fletcher, rather. Down to seven seconds. You need to go. They got yeah. Hagen's here. Hagen's going to have to make a move and does. And Hagen's loses his balance going down the lane. And that's it. End of the third quarter. 35 35. Hey, it's a tie game. What do you expect with CD and CD East? We head to the fourth in just a moment, but not before we get a timeout with Jeff Thompson. Here's Jeff. Well, Coach Wayne Flesher had a great night public league, and then he played Division II in Pennsylvania. I'm standing right next to the most accomplished in the family, his wife, Trisha Fletcher. She was all eight feet at third base at playing for the University of Maryland, and then she played a little bit at Cal Berkeley. Trisha, my question to you is, you have a daughter who's been very successful this year with the CD girls, and son, too, over there, that's pretty good. How do you juggle that? Where, who do you go see? How do you determine that? Yeah, that's something we talk about all the time. Um, it's usually who's the most competitive game, and then the second thing is which child needs the most support. Um, but Wayne, I usually text him halftime scores if I'm at the other game, so it's definitely a conversation we have multiple times a week all the time. And, and Wayne did tell me that you were the best athlete in the family, just to keep the record straight. Thank you very much, Trisha, and good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. I like your thinking there, man. What's the most competitive game? Who yeah. needs the most support? I mean, that's a mom who's thinking it out loud and then sending dad text during the course of the game. She's got all three bases covered, doesn't she? I tell you, that athletic background helps us a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a feeling, you look at those eyes, there was a competitor there. Oh, yeah. I think she was ready to sub in. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Well, eight minutes to go in this one, and we have a tie game 35-35. And this, uh, this little zone that they've thrown up here has uh, really kept Central Dolphin out in front. But CD East has been gritty against this. I mean, they really have found a way to get some points. They haven't always been pretty, but they were down 35-30. They're on a five-point run right now. And how about this? This guy has made his presence known big time, Demetrius Matthews. He has four points in the second half, six in the game. Demetrius said, hey, you know, you guys figure it out later. I'm going to put my head down. <laughs> Here's the rim. I'm laying this thing up. I like his attitude there. Go to the rack when in doubt. Got this little screen over there, and you have the two guys coming off the screen weak side every time. Kind of a continuing kind of offense here. Good defense. And I'll By tell you East. what, guy tonight, if you want to have a defensive player of the game, it's been Elijah Cooper. Yes. He has split. blanketed Fletcher tonight. Dawkins wants so badly to go to the basket here. Wells is on him. That's another good matchup on the floor. And see, from knowing Coach Fletcher, he wants to see guys touch the ball. Here's Higgins. Higgins. Gets pushed behind by Stevens, got away with it. And here, and, here in the, and here in the Commonwealth, that push doesn't really count much. No, play no, not, at all. Let's not go. at all. Let's play. <laughs> we'll decide the game. Just let it go. You wouldn't get that at the park, would you? So you're not getting here. That's right. Again, that matchup with Dawkins and Wells, very, very important. And Dawkins just missed that one. He had a good look inside point blank. Here comes Coatney Jackson, gets pushed behind by Freed. So Freed will pick up his second foul. Freed has nice size. I, li I like his height. Fourth team foul against the Rams. Another drive right to the cup. It's blocked. Oh, and how about that block by Mr. Dawkins?
Here again is Cofield with the basketball. You got Free with a long one, and Free bearing it to take the lead. Big shot by Free. His Big first shot. three of the night. He's got five points all here in the second half. In the third quarter, CD was four for 13. East was four for 10. Kobe Jackson trying to get it to the baseline. East was 0 for 2 for 3. And Wells answers the same way on the other side. And that changes all that. Big guy Thurston Wells says, how about me for a 3, coach? I got nine points in the game now, under a six to play. Two-point lead now for CD East. East did not shoot a free throw in the third quarter. They got out-rebounded 8 to 4. They had four turnovers apiece. Tough shot, but man, the Stars are coming out to play right yes, now. Yes, they are. Dawkins is going to hit another deuce. Dawkins with six points in the second half, 15 in the game. Coach, this, this group that CD has in right now seems to be playing well with a lot of continuity. Yeah, they really do. And I think Dawkins has, has brought a lot to the table here tonight off the bench. Look at him jump out on that switch and then come back and get the steal. Yes. Wow. That's uh, maybe pass. Tough from the free. Up it goes, missed. CDs for the basketball. Here comes Tony Jackson. Great pass ahead to Stevens. And Stevens, Stevens. finds a way to get in. What a play by Stevens, but a great pass by Tony Jackson. Stevens takes it to the third floor for the layup. He's got four in the game now. Back to a two point lead for the Panthers. Five minutes to play. Don't forget our Capital Blue Cross post game show coming up after this. A lot to talk about. And a walk on Malachi Cofield. Again, you know, again, from, from scouting these guys for years, coach would rather see ball movement passes as opposed to guys dribbling in one spot. Well, out of the game for a moment goes Keon Dawkins with two fouls. And back in comes Easter. Jelani Easter, the freshman in there for Dawkins. I don't think Dawkins' stay is going to be very long with that bench. In the second half, they're both tied with five uh, turnovers. Kobe Jackson dishes it off to Cooper. Wells wants the basketball. Here comes Cooper. Oh my goodness. The freshman with a little dipsy do there and a huge time gives his team a two possession lead here, 44 40. That freshman is really having an impact on this game on both ends. There's a push. And that's going to be against Demetrius Matthews. And I've got Matthews for two fouls so far. So no shot of the play, 14 fouls either way, 4-14 to go, fours are wild. Ball's gonna be brought in here by Cofield. Cofield into Fletcher. Fletcher's being blanketed again Two points by Elijah tonight. Cooper. Two points tonight in the first half, and that's been it. And Cooper has just put the clamp down on him. Here's Easter, another freshman. Easter goes hard in the basket. Easter up and in. Hey, the freshmen are coming out to shine here all of a sudden. Easter with the scoop. Ooh, that was nice. Nice play by the freshman. Jelani Easter, his brother played here a couple years ago, or last year, I think, he graduated. As Arahobus comes back in, and out goes Malachi Cofield. That foul on Wells is his first. Missed shot. Two point lead here by CD East. East is moving the ball well down the floor. Got a ball screen out top. Put that screen out there again with a big guy, Wells, and then dropped down into the post. Being guarded there by Easter. Ooh, and Cooper trying to do a little too much and got bailed out by that foul call. He got a favor. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Amari uh, Elijah Cooper. Yeah. So the foul is against Leighton Freed, and that'll be his third as Cooper not, they don't give him the shot. Referee says, I only have so much of a sense of humor. <laughs> I nice. bailed you out on that. I'm not going to give you a shot too, right? Uh, they missed number 15, Anthony Stevens on the cut. Demetrius Matthew with another tough shot. Went up, there's Stevens with a rebound. Stevens back out and blocked away by Jelani oh, Easter, nice who's block. made his presence known in the game yes, here in the second has. half. Out goes Matthews, in comes a live Vega. And I, you know, I like Ryan Hill teaching right now, saying that's not really the shot we wanted there. It's, you know, pick, pick, pick your spots. Nice cut. They Good found job. him this time. Stevens part of a double screen there, and Stevens up and misses right. Arahovas with a rebound. So a chance to tie or take the lead here with 3.19 to play in this one. We got a good one. Here's Freed. 
Feet hunting along the perimeter. Can't fight anything. Jelani Easter. Easter's not afraid to, to play. He's not afraid to put his put the ball on the deck and put his head down. There's Fletcher, and Fletcher can't get it to go. And here comes Vega. He's got numbers. Vega hard the basket. A good dish off and a good foul, really, there by Hagens to stop a layup. That was great. That was a nice play. CD East, excuse me, Central Dolphins is blocking a lot of shots today. And for Hagens, that's only his first foul here in the ballgame. So Cooper will trigger the inbounds play underneath their own basket. 2.57 to go, a two point lead here for the Panthers of CD East. Good pick and roll try there, but good job again by Easter getting back and breaking it up. That was great defense. Here's Fletcher, hunting, 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 nothing there. Back to Easter. Easter looking to make a move. Hits it out to the corner to Hagens. And Hagens is going to lose it out of bounds. CD, I mean, this isn't, this isn't a typical T CD type team. Again, I'm used to seeing them pass, move, right. body move. Take a look here. A good piece of defense there again by Stevens. Absolutely. Stevens. Timeout called on the floor. 2.31 to go in this one. Don't you dare leave. We got a hot one coming down the stretch on High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43.2. And welcome back. And you can see in the huddle right now, there's Ryan Hill talking to his charges on the other side, Wayne Fletcher with his. 2.31 to go. And you got a two point lead right now. Uh, are we into a time and score situation yet? Or are we still just playing, coach? I think we're just playing. I think that, that your, your, your aces get the ball now. I mean, it's big boy time. And they, they've got to get some touches. The guys with the experience, the guys who can finish at the rim, and most importantly, the guys who can make free throws. For me right now, Thurston Wells is going to touch the ball a lot inside. If we can get him, get him to the line, uh, get him in there and doing the job. Uh, you know, Wells is, a, is an outstanding player. And uh, four lead changes, three ties in this game. So it's been a good competitive game after the opening of the game. Eight nothing, CDs come out of the gate. But since then, it's just been a battle royale. Vegas got the basketball. We talk about a size differential. Easter's on him. Easter at 6'5". Look at Vega. Vega took him to school. I tell you, again, <laughs> you know, he said, hey, you know, you guys play around with it. I got it figured out. Me with the ball to the rim. And he sent two. the freshman up in the air. And yeah. that's that, nice about freshmen to become sophomores. You won't play that, make that play that last year but, or next year. But I tell you what, Vega, tough little guy. Yes, he is. And here's Fletcher coming across. I think they're going to call the, fall, the uh, foul on Wells. Oh. So Wells picks up his second foul. Fletcher has been blanketed everywhere he's going tonight. The Rams have 16 fouls. CD East has 16 fouls. Believe me, it'll be a, it's going to play a factor in the outcome of this game. Whoever gets to the bonus first. And Fletcher, a sophomore, getting schooled here tonight by freshman defensively. I think what happens with Fletcher sometimes, he gets caught going a little too much east and west and not north and yes. south. Yes, you're correct. Go to the basket. We saw what Vega did here a moment ago. He also has to cut a little more, Coach. A lot of times he's on the perimeter with his hands up waiting for the ball. We got Arahovas down there matched up on Wells. Wells doing a pretty good job. Keep it. Here goes Fletcher again. And Fletcher That's what up. we need. But there's what we just talking about, and Fletcher does a great job of answering the bell. He's got four points. Good move, move by Fletcher. He used his size, put his chest on the guy, and just, just muscled him to the basket. Very smooth, and that time took a lot of space on that first dribble, too, and right to the rack. Give and go, get it to Wells. He doesn't get it. Stevens right around the ball again. Stevens always seems to be around it. Freed probably fouled him over the back and got away with it. Another block shot by Central Dolphin. And here comes Dawkins back in the game now for the Rams. A good time to get him in there, 119 to go. Referee going over to Coach Hill and saying, I might have missed one there. It's okay to say that once, but no more than once. I don't, game, right? No, I don't want to hear it twice. <laughs> no, not twice. <laughs> Look at Vega. Here's Stevens. Stevens caught for a moment. 
Pass inside to Stevens. Stevens trying to get up. Stevens in. A great pass again. This time from Elijah Cooper. Coach, he's just a little big guy, man. Uh, if you ask him how tall he was, he'd say 6'7". <laughs> Playing like that today. He's done a great job defensively and offensively there, showing you the ability to pass. Arahogas getting blocked out of there. Great, great job defense. by Stevens again. And here's a guy that plays quietly all night long, but he throws it away here. Matthews dumps it under, and Matthews going to be called for a player control foul. I'm not sure they're going to call Matthew or Aaron Hovis. I think or that's Fletcher or Aaron. I Aaron think Hovis. that's on Fletcher. Let's see what that comes up with the board there. Yeah. East has got to be really, really careful here. Take Fletcher care of the ball. Throw it to the guys on your team. Foul in the backcourt. And they're going to foul Cooper. And we're going to walk to the other end here and see how he shoots free throws. CDE is nothing out of nothing in the second half here at the free throw line. Two out of five in the first half. So here is Cooper. So how do you shoot it now when the game's on the line, Elijah? Against your rival, the guys across the street. And you're down by two possessions with 35.7 seconds to go. And they miss, but there's Dawkins with a rebound. Dawkins is looking to get to the rack. Yes, he is. He's not looking to pass it, but he's going to here to Fletcher. Dawkins with a three. Dawkins lets it go. Dawkins downtown good. pulls within one. Dawkins with a huge three. Let's keep it right here. 21.2 seconds to go. He pulls his team back to within one. Dawkins big time. He's the guy you count on. When you get Once you get inside two minutes, a minute, they're going to look for Dawkins. They're also going to look for Fletcher. Those are the guys that are going to drive drive it home. Dawkins with 18 points in the game. And right now he's making a big statement about being player of the game, win or lose. Yes. This is his last crack at CD East. So I now, if you're CD East, you've got to get the ball in bounds. CD, by the way, three out of eight in the game for three-point land. But CD East got to get the ball in bounds. If you're Wayne Fletcher, what kind of defense are you bringing and who are you picking out to foul? Well, what I would do, I would not guard the inbounder, and I would face guard everybody, and I'd try to foul the, the young kid. He just went to the line and missed one. I'd foul him again. To see if, Cooper. Yes. So look for him to try to foul maybe number one, maybe double team Coakley Jackson, who you do not want in the line at the end of the game. He's a pretty good uh, ice man at the end. Yes, you don't want him at the line at all. So we'll see what happens. And it looks like Ryan Hill has drawn up some kind of really good play here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him if he gets some kind of back screen to throw it full court if he has a guy there. But we'll see. I think this is a possession inbound here. You, just, you, gotta, you can still have a one-point lead, and you want to have possession on this much more than break. They're going to see some heat right here. And, Coach, you need a real special guy to take the ball out. Thurston Wells is that guy for CD East. And there's Easter with his long reach up right there at the basket. You do not want to throw it away. And there's the foul. Oh, no, it's not. Kobe Jackson came down to get it and was out of bounds and looked like Easter might have pushed him, but. I thought I saw a hand on the back. I thought I saw it too. I think Easter thought he saw it too and no call there. CD with the inbound. Wow, so now CD has the ax in their hand. Security. 20 seconds to go. Inside it goes and Arahovas gets it. He's gonna get fouled from behind. And and now he'll go to the line. Shoot one and one. Stevens fouled him. His first first foul on Stevens tonight. And now Arahovis at the line. Arahovis on the year a 67% free throw shooter, but he's not been there but one time tonight. He's one out of one. Arahovis is a 6'4 senior. Here's he's why you practice one on ones every day. This first shot has got all the pressure. In this gym at home. And Arahovis answers the bell. Arahovis knocks it down. He's now got eight points in the game, and this one puts his team in the lead, and I think you'll see a timeout call if he makes this. Arahovis second shot up, and that's not going to go. Rebounded by Wells. Now 14 seconds to go. Let's see if Ryan Hill has a timeout left, and he calls it. He's going to let him play. He is. And timeout. Oh, called timeout. Six point six seconds to go. We stay right here. And so Ryan Hill now. In a tie game, 48-48. And this is CD, CD East, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it comes down to every single time these two hook up. So if you're Ryan Hill right now, what are you what are you calling in the huddle? Where do you want to go? Coach, whatever I call, it's going to have something to do with Thurston Wells, the senior. 
Last time he called timeout, he had Vega come out. Vega was covered by Easter. Vega took it right to the rack with the idea of either I'm going to score or I'm going to find my big man. Absolutely. I'd be surprised if Vega doesn't get it on the inbounds here. Somebody. Let's, let's see right here on this last time. Watch this. Hand in the back. And it looked like it was a foul from behind, but they called him stepping out of bounds, and the yeah. momentum clearly caused by the defensive player. Yeah, take a look right here. I mean, Eric. Yeah, that right hand, coach, right, right on his numbers. Yep, he has right here his He's number. Moving and forward. I, I think the referee got blocked away from him. You can see where the referee standing off to the side. Yeah. And everybody in the place saw Fort Chapman put his hands on his head down there. He saw it. Yeah. But the official. I, for the angle that he was at, couldn't see the right hand in his back. I think the official that was standing in front of CD's bench should have been a little closer to the baseline, and he would have been able to make a, a just call. Now, I think what you're going to see here is maybe get it to Cooper in the corner, try to get it to Wells inside. Cookie Jackson will trigger the inbound. There it goes to Cooper. Cooper coming off the screen by Wells. Has it taken away. Look out. Aaron Hovis has it. Aaron Hovis goes up. Block. Followed up again. Not going to go. And they're going to say no shot. We'll have overtime. At the end, man, there were a lot of bodies there getting hit at the end, but the official wanted to let it be decided by the players. Wow. That was a great steal by Aaron Hovis. Was it ever. He stepped into the lane, and neither coach is really arguing right now about it, so they saw what the officials saw, and I love it. They're, they're going to let it go to overtime here and let the players decide it. We'll take a very quick break. We'll come right back, and we're going to play a little extra here tonight on Fox 43.2. Where were you last night? Do you know how embarrassing that was for me? <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't deflect. Pfft. Well, that wasn't passive aggressive. Listen, I just need to know that I can trust you're going to be there when I need you. Hello? <gasps> and money just hung up on me. Not cool. Track your spending with our personal finance tool. Just another way to have better conversations with your money from FM Trust. And welcome back. And what an ending here. As it looked like Arahovas got it. Came down, got blocked away at the end. Good job by CD East on the defensive transition. This, this is a typical CD East Central Dolphin game. Rivalry, the kids grow up knowing each other, playing with and against one another, and it comes down to this. In four, four minutes. minutes overtime. Great hustle. And tracking it down is Malachi Cofield, who's been hustling all night long, by the way. For the game, CD has 17 turnovers. East has 15. Well, that really got evened up pretty well in the second half, didn't they? And here's Dawkins. He wants to make a move. And you get a timeout called here. I think the clock, the clock wasn't start. moving, yeah. yeah. Now the official's going to come over and try to figure out how many seconds actually ticked off here. Let's see what they decide. Official Phil Brown was right on top of that. He was looking over the whole time, so they're going to. Now they got 35 minutes up. Now it's 350. 350. That sounds a little, little better. We counted off 10 seconds there. Good job by Phil Brown there and Johnny on the spot, or Phil on the spot this time. Yeah. So Hagens is not in there right now. Eric Hovis, they got their starting lineup back in, and that's what they went with. Eric Hovis yeah. back in for Hagens, who's Hagens has been dynamite in the game. And but Eric Hovis has really been good here in the third quarter and the fourth quarter as well. And hats off to Jelani Easter. Yeah. The I freshman, know. the 6'4 freshman from CD. Absolutely right. Only has a bucket, but has a whole lot. There's a little clear out play. Cofield trying to find a way to get it up, and it's blocked. Not a good play. I mean, you, you dribble into a dead zone, then you try to shoot the ball over their whole team. Yeah. You don't. That's not what coach wants you to do. He gave three fakes, and CDs didn't bite on any of them. Here's Vega now with the basketball. Now they're back into that matchup. That little matchup 3 2 that we watched tonight. Me Jackson. Break that Stevens rather gets jammed. Back out to Wells. Now they'll reset it with Baker. To Wells. Wells has a good three-point shot. He doesn't get this one, though. Battle on the far side. Taken back by the Rams. Dawkins gets it. Good trap. One more pass over here to the corner. Cofield. A little too much dribbling right now with not a purpose at the moment. 
They're trying to get that inside post up either here with Arahovis. Look at this. Nice drive by Fletcher. But again, hats off to Elijah Cooper. He's played great defense he really has. on a very, very good player. Yes, he has all night long. Wells trying to get position, does on Dawkins for a moment. Good battle here, the two big guys. And they got a timeout called. Ryan Hill will take one as well. 2.39 to go in this one. 48-48. It's overtime on High School Sports Live TV's Game of the Week on Fox 43.2. That? Uh, nah, I, I never with a kid in the car. It's okay. I'm not here. <sighs> I'm there. Thirty-nine to go in overtime. Central Dolphin East and Central Dolphin Tide. Don't forget, you can watch a replay of this at HSSLiveTV.com or any of the games we've done during the course of the season. We've had a whole lot of great games this year. It's been a lot of fun. But HSSLiveTV.com. But hey, you're live right now, and I'll tell you what, this is great live action, isn't it, Coach? Yes. Yes. Again, this is the typical CD CD East battle. This is when you, when you look at the mid pen in the Commonwealth Division. This is what you look at. By the way, our next broadcast coming up, Central Dolphin at Cumberland Valley. I'm going to be with uh, George Hartwick at seven o'clock there on Thursday. So we're looking forward to bringing you that broadcast in wrestling. Coach Vegas seems to have this zone figured out. I mean, when they called timeout, he was halfway to the rim. Buck out of comes. They got the big guy back in there now. He's got four fouls. Let's see Henry. Vega knocks it off to Henry. He got a three look, rattles in and out. There's Wells again. Wells up. Wells in with the left hand and a big bucket here. Thurston Wells. And that's what you want from your big guy inside. The two big guys doing it tonight. Keon Dawkins and Thurston Wells. Wells with 11 points in the game. Dawkins with 18. That man to man is very stingy for CDE. Pull up on the baseline and we said big guy doing it. How about 20 points now for Dawkins? The Dawkins. big players get the balls in their hands now and answering the call. Absolutely. This is what he auditioned for. Under two to play, 146 to go, still in that zone. Here comes Vega. Vega challenging. Vega throws it back out. Covered out there by Elijah Cooper. East is moving the ball. Looking for a little penetration. Got the high low here, maybe with Henry. Henry not really working for his position, though, down there. Right. Might want to throw Henry the ball and let uh, Wells fight for the block. Exactly. Wells with that body knows how to get down there. Throwing it up, not going to go. Off the hands of Demetrius Matthews. Tough shot. Ball goes back over now in a 50-50 tie to the Rams. Here comes the little big guy, Anthony Stevens. And Freed back in on the other side. Who's a pretty good offensive player here for the Rams. So playing chess right now, Coach Hill and Coach Fletcher. Coming down on one minute, 108 to go. Easter's it, still in there. It's inside two minutes. You, it's inside, almost inside a minute. You got to go with your bread and butter. Fletcher getting jammed again by Cooper. Ball tipped off Stevens. Saw Stevens over here nursing an ankle a few minutes ago, but he's right back in there and no worse for wear. CD, CD's last lead, 38-37 uh, with 6-16 at the fourth quarter. Stevens trying to help the official here. In case they didn't know what the call was, he said, I, I think it's off now. So CD just trying to get the ball in bounds right now against a suffocating Panther defense. 55.1 seconds to go in this one, 50 50 tie. Each has scored a bucket here in the overtime. Look at the defense by Vega. Yeah, he's making him go east and west. Yes, he is. Here's a guy we said, Go south, young man. This has been the key matchup here. Yes, it has been. Cooper. A lot of dribbling not, Fletcher. I'm not sure that's what they what, want. Vega just took give and go. Kick it a corner. To the corner. Dawkins to again. He's hot. Dawkins downtown one more time. Dawkins with 23 points in this one. And the last two big buckets have been huge. Stevens up and under. Stevens going to get fouled by Arahovis. But man, his Dawkins just big time moments. And he's answering in a big time way. Coach, he's a, he's a, he's a four-year player. 
He's played several roles for CD throughout his high school career. Again, three years ago, he was the fourth option. Now he's first or second, and he's really, really doing a good job. Here is Stevens, has not been to the free throw line yet tonight. It's up and down. And just like you probably figure Stevens might do, actually, he, was, he missed two early in the first half tonight. I was wrong on that. So he's one out of three, but now the game's on the line. Now it's time. So makes it a two-point game. Can bring it back to one here, and does. Great free throws. Now you got to try to get it in, get it to Easter. Dawkins has it, they don't want to foul him. Back it comes to Fletcher, they don't want to foul him. And Fletcher gets fouled finally by Cooper with 16.7 seconds to go. So Fletcher is going to head to the line. On the season, he is an 80% free throw shooter. Coach, the guy you sh that could have been fouled was Jelani Easter. I mean, he's a, he's a freshman. Yep. He hasn't shot a whole lot from the line today. And uh, Fletcher, Fletcher with two bucks tonight. He hasn't been to the line yet tonight. Let's see what happens here. It's up, and it rattles in. So the first one is down. It's still going to be a one possession game either way coming down. It's going to be either a long possession with a three or a short with a two. And if you decide to score real quick, you can do that too. The second one is up, and that one, nothing but net. Nice job by Fletcher making both there. He has six points on the evening. And now you're going to pick up full court and shadow him at least. Everybody becomes a shooter in this situation for CD East, but yeah. you don't want to foul him. Absolutely. Anybody can take that three and make it. Copley Jackson, honey, honey, looking for a screen out front. Can't get a shot off. Seven seconds to go. Somebody needs to get somewhere where they get a shot. Timeout. On the floor, 55 to 52. Central Dauphin leads it. Ryan Hill gets his last time out. 4.8 seconds to go. And he wanted some penetration there to open up that three, and he never got it. That's what he's pointing to his guards on right now. Yes. One of the things uh, Colton Jackson can't do is when he's handling the ball, you can't turn your back to the defense. Four point eight seconds to go. Okay, coach, here we go again into the huddle. You gotta have a three. If I'm CD East, I'd run my best three play for I don't know, either Wells or Cooper. They seem to be the better three point shooters today. Of course you also have out there Cody Jackson. Yes. Who can make it when he needs to. He's got two threes in the game tonight. So if you're looking for a three point shooter, Cody Jackson's the guy. Now don't think that Wayne Fletcher doesn't know that too, so he's going to have to be covered like a rug here. Yes, he is. And I think what you're going to see, they're going to try to run him off some kind of baseline screen, maybe. CD East or is down screen by Vega to Jackson. Let's see what happens. CD East is five for 13 from three for the ball game. For a down screen, it they switched Cooper. out. Cooper switched out. The jam, Cody Jackson's got to let it go. He does. And it is nowhere close. And CD has come back and won this one 55 to 52. The Rams found a way to get it done over their rivals, CD East. The Rams now go to 7 and 11, 5 and 5 in the Commonwealth. And for CD East, a bitter loss here, 5 and 9, 3 and 7 in the Commonwealth. We're going to take a break. We'll come right back for our Capital Blue Cross post game show, our Capital Region play of the game, and our Hoffman Ford player of the game right after this. The final score 55 52. The Rams win it. It's the High School Sports Live TV Game of the Week on Fox 43.2. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high-demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24-7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction.
The Jet Giambavo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Giambavo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jet Giambavo Mazda. The Giambavo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre-owned inventory with a reputation for quality service after the sale. Giambavo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jet Giambavo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at giambavo.com. across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. You may recycle your electronics, appliances, and mercury thermostats at the Dolphin County Recycling Center. In addition to eight local drop-off sites for recyclable materials. Recycling matters in Dolphin County. Since 2001, Dolphin County has recycled over 10,000 tons of electronics. And 1.6 million tons of recyclables like cardboard and plastics. Keep up the great work. Bring it on! Getting the money for the RV we've been wanting. I know you're in there, money. They're saying we can get a line of credit based on what we've already paid into our home. Oh, that's pretty clever. Huh? No harm done. <gasps> Borrow from your home with our FlexLock line of credit. Have better conversations with your money with FNM Trust. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. And welcome back to our Capital Blue Cross post-game report. 55 to 52 tonight. Just a typical Central Dolphin, Central Dolphin East game. Central Dolphin East looked like they were leaving the building in the first quarter. 8-0, they went out to the lead. Central Dolphin, though, with a lot of moxie here, came back tonight. Gary Sutton with you alongside of Kirk Smallwood and Jeff Thompson. 55-52, guys. One heck of a game here tonight. Kirk, your thoughts on this one? Overtime game, CD and CD East. I thought that uh, CD did a good job once they got their feet under them. Uh, I don't think that Fletcher really played as well as he could today, but he'll be back. He, yeah. He's a great player. Um, hats off to Elijah Cooper, who did an excellent job defending uh, Fletcher on the perimeter. Yeah, Cooper, only a freshman, played against a sophomore, and I think the freshman might have schooled the sophomore a little bit tonight on defense, although Fletcher had a couple big free throws at the end when they needed him, had a big drive in the middle when they needed him, did a pretty good job, but Elijah Cooper tonight, really answered the bell defensively even though he's underneath his numbers by seven offensively jeff what do you see in the game tonight well i pretty much the same thing i thought that that find that uh number two wayne fletcher two mm -hmm. at the end of the game to uh, keon was crucial and he was wide open and usually in a game like that team play wins at the end right we saw the big stars coming out at the end thurston wells averages 11 points a game he got 11 points tonight. got some big buckets when they needed it to get him to overtime uh, and then uh, Anthony Stevens. We've seen this guy now twice, and I'll tell you what, he's everywhere. He really plays well, as is Coatney Jackson. Those guys, I'll tell you, the Central Dolphin East team really hustles well, and I just thought they gave a great effort here tonight, but unfortunately came up a little bit short. And uh, we take a look now at our Capital Region Insurance Agency play of the game. And we had a couple big ones tonight, but I have a feeling I know what this one is. Let's take a look. 
And there's Mr. Higgins. He was around all night long. That wasn't Mr. Higgins, rather. Instead, we're looking there at the guy who came to the game. Yeah, it was Mr. Darren Higgins. Higgins forgive yeah. me. He's yeah, got up. He's very powerful. Look at this. <laughs> That's with authority. Yes. And th that followed a tip and an assist. So he had a nice uh, three, three possessions. Well, you had Higgins tonight. You had another guy that ends with ends. His name is Keon Dawkins. And he is our Hoffman Ford player of the game tonight. 23 points in this one. But man, did he take over in overtime and had some unbelievable plays throughout the game. But in overtime, he was a beast. Take a look. Four years, a four year starter. I had a four point play out of that one, but uh, look at this. Huge three when they need an overtime. Another one. He settled down in his shot so comfortably the whole night. And he went to the rack and then pulled up on the baseline a few times with a couple of those nice little floaters. And Deion Dawkins. Keon Dawkins is our player of the game. They are hopping for a player of the game. Take a look. Ah, that food's going to taste a little nicer when you go over home tonight, right? <laughs> well, we want to thank everybody here tonight. The Jim Gallagher, who did a great job on stats. Of course, Jeff Thompson roaming the sidelines and doing timeout with Thompson. The whole staff here uh, at uh, Central Dolphin, who always treat us so well when we come here. Of course, Kirk Smallwood, great analysis tonight, Kirk. And all of you for watching here tonight. It's been a lot of fun this evening. We really appreciate you tuning in to High School Sports Live TV. Our next event coming up is going to be this Thursday night and I'm going to be with George Hartwick on talk about two powerhouses Central Dolphin and Cumberland Valley in wrestling over at Cumberland Valley it's going to be a lot of fun that one at 705 and our next basketball game that we have scheduled is another good one and that's going to come up here on February the 3rd when we have McDevitt at Trinity uh, that one should be a lot of fun too in a rematch a Trinity winning by 20 the first time McDevitt much improved though as is Trinity but again tonight your final score here 55 to 52 for all of our crew here. I'm Gary Sutton. Thanks for watching. Had a great, have a great evening, everyone. You can watch it all on Fox 43.2. The Jet Jim Bobo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Jim Bobo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jack Jim Bobo Mazda. The Jim Bobo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre owned inventory. With a reputation for quality service after the sale, Jim Bobo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jack Jim Bobo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at GMBobo.com. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. More choices, more laughter, more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. You may recycle your electronics, appliances, and mercury thermostats at the Dolphin County Recycling Center. In addition to eight local drop-off sites for recyclable materials. Recycling matters in Dolphin County. Since 2001, Dolphin County has recycled over 10,000 tons of electronics. And 1.6 million tons of recyclables like cardboard and plastics. Keep up the great work. Bring, Bring it on! on. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. All across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home.
wake up with the sun. We live in a place we're proud to call home. For us, it's knowing that those we help are neighbors, friends, family. As the leader in providing the best orthopedic care for our community, we come together to do our part. I'm there. 